NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang just had another keynote at Computex a few days ago. This keynote unveiled a number of things NVIDIA is launching. This includes the hated RTX 5060 and of course, AI upgrades including new data center GPUs, which I'm gonna talk about right now. Introducing the new NVIDIA RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell Server Edition. This is a universal AI and graphics server GPU that is supposed to be the direct upgrade to the L40S. You can see that they are directly comparing it to the L40S in their marketing video. And as you might know, Nvidia is using the L40S and the L40G for the GeForce Now Ultimate tier. Heck, they even look alike. Now on top of this, they even showed the server rack these GPUs will be on, the Nvidia RTX Pro server. Jensen goes into some details regarding the new server rack for the new Pro 6000 card. This server can run everything. Every application that we know of should run on this. In fact, even Crisis works on here. Okay, so anybody who's a GeForce gamer, there are no GeForce gamer in the room. Now, before I go into details about this card, it has not been confirmed that this card will be used for the GeForce Now Ultimate upgrades. I am assuming this will be the case since this is the upgrade to the 4080 cards that they are using right now, the L40S and G. So I would put money on the fact that they would use this card or a variation of this card for upgrades for GeForce Now. Now let's get into the power comparisons. Now we should all know by now that these GPU upgrades are not raw power upgrades. Those days are pretty much gone. When Nvidia talks about upgrades, they are talking about AI computing, for the most part. Now the specs are located here on the Nvidia site and I'll put a link to them here, but there's a site that already has done the comparison for me. This page here on amax.com goes into a decent comparison on the RTX Pro 6000 Server Edition versus the L40S. Feel free to read this, but I want you to check out right now the side-by-side -side stats comparison. Basically, everything is better by an average of about 30%, except for the memory. The Pro 6000 BS, yes, I'm nicknaming it this, has doubled the memory to 96 gigabytes. Plus, it's GDDR7 memory. This most likely means they'll be able to get four users per card. This way, we can all play Crisis together with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, side note, this card also has 3.7 P-flops, which isn't supported on the L40S. This will significantly boost AI performance, but no one cares about AI, am I right? Now the last thing I wanted to talk about was whether this upgrade is needed right now and you might be saying, yes fool it is, but back in January I made a video on the game list that actually supported the Blackwell upgrades, mainly multi-frame generation. There were only three games that supported it at the time. Now how much has that list increased since then? Well this page has been updated to 28 games that now natively support multi-frame generation. That's a pretty decent increase from 3, but is it enough to warrant the Blackwell upgrades? In my eyes, it's a no, but that might change by the time they get these upgrades shipped and installed and ready to go. And that naturally leads me into this question. When do we expect this to happen? No idea. Our RTX Pro server is in volume production across all of our partners in the industry. This is likely the largest go-to market of any system we have ever taken to market. So thank you very much. All this is speculation, remember? And I don't even think these pro servers have been shipped yet. So hopefully by the end of the year as a holiday present, and that would be really nice, but most likely at the beginning of next year with next year's CES. I'm just being real about it. Anyway, if we have any official news about these potential upgrades, I'll keep you posted. But in the meantime, if you like this overview of what we think the next upgrade will be for GeForce Now, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep a lock right here at the only place we can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.